Hello grade 9 math class, welcome back to another lesson. We have number 3 today, uh, advanced laws of exponents where we're going to put everything we've learned about exponent laws so far together, but I want to remind us that even in these problems we are going to use bed mass. We're going to do what's in the brackets first, then we're going to look for exponents, we're going to do multiplication and division, but we're going to also separate the top and the bottom like we did last uh, in the last unit. The numerator and the denominator will stay separate uh, till close to the end. And then we do addition and subtraction last, which we don't have any of that in this case, but uh, that would be that would go at the end, just so you're aware. All right, let's move on. Here we go. First one we have four to the power of four squared times four to the power of four divided by four to the power of four. Oh my goodness, so many fours. There, now you can see that. So we're going to do the top and the bottom separately. There's no brackets in and of themselves to do, like anything within them. We're gonna do the exponent first then. So that's four to the power of eight. Four times two is eight. We add when we're multiplying. So that's four to the power of 12 over four to the power of four. And then we subtract when we are dividing. So that's four to the power of eight as our final answer. 12 minus four is eight. So we are just going to follow bed mass as we move through and we're gonna keep the top and the bottom separate until the end. Let's do the next one. There are no brackets. There's no exponents of exponents, so we can go right by there. Um, let's do the bottom. When we have four and two as exponents and the bases are the same when they're multiplied, we're gonna add. It's three to the power of three over three to the power of six. We're going to then subtract because they're divided. So we have three to the power of negative three. And our final answer, we're gonna flip that whole thing onto the denominator of a fraction. So that's one over three to the power of three. So although there is a few more steps, we are just going to work through it logically, do what's in the brackets, do an exponent of those, and then do multiplication and division. Okay, this one we have a large set of brackets. This is interesting. So what we have in the brackets, we are going to do first. Uh, so that means that we're not going to apply that four exponent um, into there yet. Um, we could, and I could show you that method sometime, but we don't need to right now. So the top and the bottom are going to be separate. So this is four, one plus two is three, power of four. We're going to subtract those numbers now. So this is uh, four just to the power of one, all to the power of four. And then one times four is four, so this is four to the power of four as our final answer. Let's go in here. Okay, I like that better. Very scientific way of adjusting. Okay, let's do the next one. Three times three to the power of four divided by three squared, all squared. So again, we're gonna do what's in the brackets first, top and the bottom separately. One plus four is five. I'm going to now subtract what we have. So this is five minus two. So that is three to the power of three. We still have the squared outside. And then we multiply when it's a power of a power. This is three to the power of six. If you have any questions while you're doing these, uh, go ahead and pause and ask somebody or let me know. Let's move on to the next ones, which are even more complicated. That's right, we're going for it. All right, we have three to the power of three, the power of three all over three power of two, three to the power of three. Okay, so we're gonna do the top and the bottom separately. I'm gonna do multiple steps, like one on the top and one on the bottom. Uh, exponent of exponent, three times three, that's nine. 
and then 2 uh, plus 3 is 5 because they're multiplied by each other um, with the same base, so we add them. 3 to the power of 5. Oops, I wrote 5. Brain fart. 3 to the power of 5. There we go. And now, because we have a quotient, we're just going to go ahead and subtract. 9 minus 5 is 4. Let's go to the next one. I think we're going to not do 18. We'll just do these last two hard ones. We have a whole bunch of brackets. So that's a big bracket. I'm draw my line. Small bracket. 3 squared. Oh, my. Oh, my. I haven't looked at this yet, really. Did I get this right? 3 squared, squared, squared. Big bracket. 4. It's all 3 to the power of 4 down here. Okay, so let's look inside our brackets first. So we have the set of brackets. We're going to do what's in there first, so we can ignore the 4 for now. And then we're going to do the top and the bottom separately, but there's nothing really to do on the bottom. It's just 3 to the power of 4. So we're focused on this bit here. We have another set of brackets, so we can ignore the 2. For now, that squared we can ignore because we have another set of brackets. So let's do what's in here. We have an exponent first and then we're gonna multiply. So, I'm going to do this first. Two to the power of two, like three to the power of two times uh, exponent two, that would be three to the power of four, and then three to the power of four multiplied by three to the power of two gets us three to the power of six. So, I'm going to write three to the power of six, and that is all this part right in here right here. That's that whole in part. So then we are also going to square it. It is on top 3 to the power of 4. And it's all still has a power to the outside. I'm sorry for the mess. We're then going to do still what's in the brackets. We have an exponent of an exponent. So let's do that. We have 3 to the power of 12 over 3 to the power of 4, and this is all again to the power of 4. We subtract because they're divided by each other, so that's 3 to the power of 8, all to the power of 4. And then we multiply 4 times 8 because we have those exponent of an exponent. That's 3, 8 times 4 is 32. Quite a bit. We're gonna do another one that's a, that's pretty similar. Uh, so if you you get another chance to follow along, and I get another chance to write more clearly, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Um, that was an introduction to the difficult problem. Let's do it. Okay, we got a big bracket, and I'm gonna draw my line. Three to the power of three on the bottom. So there's gonna be not much to do on the bottom for a bit. We then have two brackets, three to the power of four, we close that bracket, and that squared multiplied by three to the power of three, close that bracket to the power of four, and close a big bracket. It's just a mouthful to say as I'm writing it out. But let's look at this uh, strategically. There's another four on the outside, of course. All right, we have brackets, so we're gonna ignore the exponent for now. And then we have more brackets. And like I said, the denominator is just going to stay there. So we're going to look inside these brackets first. I'm going to do everything inside those brackets in one step. So uh, 3 to the power of 4 squared, we multiply those exponents. That's 3 to the power of 8. And then we um, add 3. So that's 3 to the power of 11. So 3 to the power of 11. Again, we still have that to the power of 4 over 3 to the power of 3, all, so still to the power of 4. This is 3 to the power of 44 then. 11 times 4 is 44. So 3 to the power of 44 divided by 3 to the power of 3. Man, we're going to have to do some multiplication here, I'm, I'm guessing. We subtract, so that is 3 to the power of 41, all to the power of 4. So then 4 times 41, no, I can do this. That's 164. 
3 to the power of 164. What I did was I did 40 times 4, which is 160, and 1 times 4, which is 4, and I added those together. Uh, like I said, we're going to leave the last question. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. Uh, and if you have questions, please let me know or another classmate. See you.